All right, hey, thanks for tuning in to today's development stream. I am not as prepared as I thought I was. Um, today I'll be working on Drupal Rector and PHP Stand Drupal. <clears throat> Uh, this contribution st stream is sponsored by Palantir.net, a remote-first agile company that gives back to the Drupal project and community like these streams. We're on the 13th or so stream that they have sponsored to help me you know, ensure that I can or sponsor my time to work on Drupal Rector. And now it's working on the upgrade status module, which is also fixing parts of PHP stand Drupal. If you're looking for a Drupal job, they are hiring a Drupal engineer. Uh, to learn more and apply, go to their website at www.palantir.net and check them out. Thanks again, Palantir, for sponsoring this time. It's great that you're supporting the community and basically ensuring that we have all the tooling we need to upgrade from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9. And next year, when it's the Drupal 9 to Drupal 10 extravaganza as well. Um, so I'm going to get started with trying to nip this issue in the butt. <clears throat> um, access level must be protected. I wrote some code that implemented a property as private because it was private in the parent and then it got changed to protected and just everything is broken. Um, but we have one failure now when bump to 11.3 where the PHP unit rules are now adding does not perform assertions. So I'm just going to comment that so to Ken. Um, the functional tests are broken because PHP unit rules and rector were updated to add no assert annotations automatically. Kind of cool. We can add them here or in a new PR since I cannot modify. We can add them here and not earn a new PR since I cannot modify the PR. I'll go ahead and oh. this is the one thing I really dislike about GitHub and GitLab and the whole pull request slash merge request workflow is as a non-maintainer, I can't push changes to this. Um, Drupal worked on a patch-based workflow, and the greatest part is anybody can contribute to a patch. Anybody can roll with it, try to improve it. This, you're just stuck. Like, you can't do anything. Like, I would have to fork a fork to make this work. Um, and it's kind of holding up our releases at the moment. And it's preventing these other merge requests from being merged. Um, I would say add them as a fix. Yeah, add them as a fix because it's just new improve improvements from rector's rules. I could make a new PR, but that would fail due to the private property and essentially duplicate this entire PR. Who is the author of this? I'll see if um, Laurent, are you able to apply the fixes to the rector? Um, what is it? Rector examples updated to the rector examples updated that are shown in this job run. Then we can hopefully get this merged and have Drupal rector humming again. So the biggest problem is that Drupal Rector is broken right now um, with due to upstream changes to Rector. 
Now, I guess we could have pinned the composer JSON to an older version or say it was conflicted. Um, but if we can just at least get these added in, um, I'm going to off the off stream, I'm going to follow up with Ken and see if we can get this just shoved through somehow. Um, but that was my one item I needed to follow up on in Drupal Rectors because if we can get that merged, then we can get these two other merges or these two other items merged up, um, which would include symphony rectors for automated symphony deprecations, and then also some extra scoping on a few methods. All right, that's my housekeeping from yesterday, or last week, not yesterday, sorry, last week. Um, next item is we need to handle the fact that service definitions can be deprecated. Um, this was filed in a in people.org project upgrade rec update upgrade status let me find the issue here so an upgrade status we have an issue issue is see if it, uh, entity manager service scans so what was happening is we were catching usages of deprecated services when you use when you would do like container get service get and then call a method but not when you fetched it and did nothing else so that is the the bug at hand and it makes a lot of sense as to why um as inside of let's see this is drupal rector inside of our code we have a service map that helps or we have rather the Reflection, no, where is the classes? Type, sorry, type. So we have the service dynamic return type extension, which just says that if you're calling from the um, service container and you're saying get, we look up what the service might be and then return that object type. But what needs to happen is there needs to be a rule that checks if you're calling a deprecated service and that says get deprecated service rule, which we started to work on. Um, and I believe we have it working. And you see why it has a failure. Um, this is where we ended last week. And I need to try to button this off. Zero passed. Private methods cannot be one second. Let's see, PHP. Yep. Sometimes I have to toggle between my PHP versions and that can get things a little screwy. Oh shoot. That's right. I can't run this locally right now because we're using, um, or I can rather. So back that up. Um, to test this, I had to downgrade my local Drupal integration test to use P Drupal 8. I have PHP 8 on my machine, and that does not play well with Drupal 8 at all due to backwards compatibility issues, which means I also have um, PHP 8 trying to run PHP unit 6, which is not compatible with PHP 8. So I just need to bump down my um, PHP version again. All right, there we go. And then tell then get get PHP storm to realize that I have a different version of PHP again. All right, there. Now, if I run the test, it shouldn't error out. Um, so let's go look at why the test failed and get um, first, let's see what failed. So the build integration worked fine. The test failed in 7.4 with 9.0 and PHP 8 with 9.0. Let's see why. Oh, it's due to PHP CS. Which I didn't have PHP CS running because my global composer install with PHP CS is for PHP 8. Um, and everything inside of here just gets all kinds of cranky. So let's just follow through line 15 opening brace. 
comps. I'm used to Drupal coding standards, not PSR2, which is why I have this in my um, CI flow because you know, I want it, I, I know I bounce between like some PSR2 and then Drupal. And Drupal service definition. My 99, oh yeah, not an, no empty space after. No, gen, I don't wanna generate a PHP doc. I want to say that it returns a string. All right, so let's do PHP vendor bin, PHP CS source. That's all happy. Let's do PHP stan, analyze source okay set deprecated where is that on drupal service definition set deprecated is a void template is a string it's a nullable string so let's add question mark string. So question mark before I type property means that it can be nullable. And that means I need to update this here as well. Type properties are not allowed since 7.4. That's right. I have this, I have to, I'm supporting 7.1. So let's see. Um, so we're just going to use PHP doc. Status with no type hint. Oh. Bool. There we go. Wahoo. There we go. PHP stand won't error, which prevents this. It goes PHP CS and PHP stand and PHP unit. Ran the test and it passed. So let's make a commit. Um, actually, I'm gonna go log. I'm gonna do a git add on source, git status. The reason I went to the command line is for these little nitpick fixes, I'm going to just amend my commit and do a force push. So that way I don't have two commits of follow. I, I really dislike com follow up commits that are just nitpicks for um, PHP CS and little things like that. So we'll push that and let this run. Oh, let's see. Close the pull request tab. So this will help resolve a really big gap in um, coverage for upgrade for the ability to upgrade from Drupal 8 to Drupal 9 is by identifying old, um, when you have container injection and you have stale or invalid service names. I'm gonna apologize, I'm gonna talk bad the entire day. It's been a track record for the past week is I cannot have words work right. Um, we have a failure on 7.4 with PHP unit. What test failed? Test extension reports error. Um, is D9, okay, we have different errors based on if it's Drupal 9 or not. So why, okay, so if, it's D8. Let's try to get some rid of some of these squigglies. Yeah, it says always false because it's evaluating the version constant. Um, by it, I mean PHP stand. So PHP stand is actually analyzing this code ahead of time for me inside the IDE. PHP Storm added that where it can do inline analysis. 
I was able to do is say version compare 9.0.0. It resolves the, ver the value of this version. Well, it's always false. So it's like, why are you doing this? It's always false. But we know in the test that the Drupal version can change because it has different dependencies. And we'll go ahead and convert these to static methods because at some point in time they weren't and then they became static methods. But errors, get errors. i figure out why this failed. There were two failures. Now this verbose debugging enabled because it makes it a lot easier to get to um, PHP send fixtures module. Let's first see what's in here. Get app root. So F zero catches at level one. Triple load, load include. So that's okay. It assumes the first error is if condition is always false. Um, function missing return rule. That's there. Ah, sweet. So this is actually a good failure. Um, what happened here is now that we have app root is deprecated in 9.0. So in Drupal 9, so if is D9. So if is D9, error should not be, oh, I wonder if the binary thing actually persists. Yep, it does, it's right there. If I would have just scrolled down. So we actually have another error. So, and D, this is great. In D9, it proves that we are, are, we are catching a whole other error that was missed previously. So the app root service is deprecated. I believe it became a, service parameter, which is awesome. God. All right, there we go. So if is denied, the app root service is deprecated in Drupal 9, removed from Drupal 10. Then we have the binary operation between SPL string and core includes, which results in an error. Then finally, well, that's because, yeah, the, the SPL string stuff, it'll be gone in Drupal 10 when it's finally a service parameter, which is actually a string instead of an, it being a synthetic service or however it was. I really wonder what the decision was way back when to have app root as a service that's SPL string instead of a service parameter. I'm gonna guess it was just set that way and that is what it is because it was hurry up and get Symfony in integrated. And we've learned a lot of things since then. Um, so definitely wouldn't point to blame at anybody. It's just, it was there. Just never really got adjusted and now it's fixed. Oh, the container worked different. That's right. I mean, when when Drupal 8 was launched, Symphony 3 was brand new, I believe. I mean, we might have even been working against Symphony 2 and then received, uh, you know, Symphony 3. I, actually, I really don't remember um, what the case was. But, yeah, things change. So we have on D9... We have a failure because there is actually five errors instead of just four because app.root service is deprecated. This one I'm going to make a separate commit for because I like showing that it's actually something that was. Now I'm going to amend it too. There's no reason to make that separate. Let's do git amend. Git amend. Push F. All right, let's see what the next job run is. Oh, 
when this thing has so many different jobs that I run, I have various things on Circle CI, which may or may not be deprecated by some of the GitHub actions, but there's so much happening here that I just let it all run, which I'm very appreciative of Circle CI, GitHub, other things that, you know, they provide free CPU time to open source projects. A lot of folks take that for granted, I think. Um, not maybe realizing how much it costs to do these, especially high jobs like this. So I appreciate it, even if some people might think that they can afford it or whatever else, like they don't have to do this. All right, we have another failure, 7.49.0. All right, failed asserting that size one matches expected size zero. So we have another error that's caught. Where's the test app pseudo service? All right, so this is again a, so, Why is PHP Storm still saying I didn't fix, I didn't commit? Oh, was, did I not commit? I didn't commit this. I just added source and did a force push with no actual changes. Way to go me. Um, let's grab this error, or rather, I'll we'll have to do this is D9 check. So let's split this split right so I don't have to Bounce around too much. Test apps root pseudo, pseudo service. So if is D9. If is, is D9. We have errors. Else. Part of me is wondering too with this code. When Drupal 10, like when Drupal 10's released. Can I just delete all my Drupal 8 checks? Or am I going to have to hold that around because some people will still be migrating next year off of Drupal 8? I really hope not because it's an easier upgrade, but I have a feeling that will be in my future. So let's copy this here. There should be one error. Errors get errors. And we can now, I can't read this. Let's break out on the two lines. So we'll say errors, get errors, zero, get message, because before we asserted the count is at least one. So let's get status, get add tests, Get amend, get push force. Here we go. Yeah, I missed the early development days of Drupal 8. I remember I was at a company and Drupal 8 was getting ready to go. And um, I was told like, oh yeah, we won't be adopting Drupal 8 and for like four years, right? Like prove it ready. And that's when I was like, it's not like, I love the company and what they're doing, but it wasn't primarily a Drupal shop. It's just Drupal was picked to be the right tool for the job. And I was like, well, I kind of want to be more involved in Drupal and I don't want to wait four years to take on the newest and latest thing. So that's why I left. And luckily I was able to land the job at commerce guys slash Nelson Taro. Um, way back about six years ago. All right, we're getting greens. That's good. Oh, all right. 7.2 and 8.9. 7.3 and 8.9. All right, 8.9 is failing. So Drupal 9 is now passing with the um, errors as we uncover deprecations that happened in Drupal 9 for Drupal 10. Now we got to figure out 
where this is failing. So we've got, it said four of three. Test deprecation rules. With data set, entity manager, configuration test. Oh, here we go. Container factory plugin interface test. This is the debug. So one part about the debug is that goes before when you when you have this verbose output, it goes before the assertion. Filled that actual three matches size two. So this wants three errors. Let's figure out what they are. Parameter, any method of blah, 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 blah. Entity manager, oh. That's why I had the wrong. No, not plugin, it's block. Let's type in with deprecated entity manager service. Method create to return status, but returns what? Hold on. Wait, what method create should return static Drupal plugin block entity manager injected block but returns Drupal that error makes no sense return new self return static oh is it because of Oh, at least, well, the good part is PHP sends analyzing it and giving me the same error here. Um, LSB, what does LSB mean? Return type, oh, late static binding. Well, that's my coffee all over my desk. Luckily I have an old copy of my book protecting my um, stuff. Oh, uh, one second. Well, the good part is my computer didn't explode while it's gone, so it still works. Um, one second, I gotta get some paper towel down to make sure that a few things are cleaned up. Somebody on Twitter said I live dangerously because I have my coffee next to my um. Oh, that's that's bad. But the keyboard works. Um, so just one second, actually, what I think I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to stop this new self, the new static and let, um, PHP send complain about using static instead of self. And pray that my computer, my keyboard doesn't fry out so i hope that's that's you guys can't actually see what's happening here but there's some 
Excitement is now everything smells like coffee. And it's all over the place. So yeah, so don't drink coffee by a computer, I guess, is the new thing. Or don't get upset at why you can't figure something out and then spill your coffee everywhere. All right, good enough. I'll clean it up after this. So, all right, so new static. Let's remove this new self, this fancy return type stuff that's going on here. So now it works. So I think the problem is that the um, inherent doc, which I hope my, aud yeah, my audio interface is still working. So the create method has a return static and it wasn't being processed properly. I'm not sure what. So returning new static here and just handling this unsafe usage of new static should fix the problem. Which is, I don't know what the order of errors will be. I'm going to assume that's first. Let's go here and just run the test. That should catch it. I'm going to set my coffee cup back there. All right. Um, so, yeah, it doesn't like it wasn't necessarily because of the static or late static binding. It's just because the, the type hint for the return doc said static and it was assuming it was going to be a static. Yeah. I don't know why that error was that way, but it should be fixed up and wait for these tests to run. squeegee up my headphones oh, it's on my notebook too I've only spilt my coffee one other time at my desk oh well All right, this is gonna take forever. I wanna push it and run it, because I know it would be so much faster because it runs the entire test in 30 seconds where my computer is taking longer than that to even run, run one test. But I don't wanna push it up and then have to just make another push yet again. All right, here we go. Once it runs, then I can do rerun with failures to run the specific ones that failed. It's just so slow. Why is it being so slow? Oh, I bet this is going to have the same error too. Return type can be declared as the return type. Oh, so that one passed, but it was an error in the container in the plugin factory one. Come on, test. We know it's three errors. It's just, I don't know. I'm assuming this unsafe usage is first and then it will be these two. But the constructor is first. So maybe this will be the middle error. Not sure. And then here, I'll just add some little. Yeah, that'll say it's always one. So. All right, two strings are equal. 
So I'll rerun just the failed error. And see if that passes then. Because if that does, I'll tag a new release of PHP stand Drupal, or at least let's see. Yeah, clean up PHP unit bootstrap inclusion. Let's see. Remove unnecessary and drop required once. So I wait for this to run. Let's see if I got feedback from this issue. I did not, but I'll probably merge it anyways and see. So that way I can have two bug fixes and <clears throat> two bug fixes in one release. Holy moly, this is taken forever. Let's see. So type hinted, yeah. And then new static, and then it should be about this git. I was reading something that said, um, like when you're trying to make it on Twitch, that people will stick around for 20 seconds and then decide to hang out or not. And it's like how like, it is impossible to be entertaining uh, every 20 seconds. Sweet, that passed. Like, I can't even imagine. It's like, hey, let's wait a minute for this test to pass. It's just riveting. Um, all right. So thanks, everybody that is hanging out. So get status, add the test, get amend. I mean, exciting content. Like you would have, you wouldn't have seen, not see, well, not heard me spill my coffee, and I'm proud of myself for not panicking too bad. We'll see what happens though if my keyboard dies out. That was a lot of coffee that came out of my keyboard. Um, so once I'm done with the stream, I will be turning it off and giving everything a good cleanup. All right, so I pushed the fixes. I'll have to text Boyan and tell him that I pulled the Boyan. Um, way back in the early days of Drupal Commerce, when we were just still building the payments API, Boyan was at Drupal Developer Days in Milan, Italy, and one, his laptop got stolen. That that was like, we lost all of our payment work. And then he was working on it again, and he spilt an espresso on top of his new laptop, and it fried out. So twice over, we lost our payment API work because, due to computer problems. Luckily, my MacBook, I have elevated on a copy of one of my books. So that book is going to be a little coffee stained but at least the laptop safe and my keyboard should be the only thing that needs to dry out more failures i don't want to test service d8 mapping now what is what's going on here um error messages assert count four Fail to that count four matches size three. Oh yeah. It is a pain. And especially because, you know, we're trying to like rewrite the entire API that people were building off of. Um, you know, in the end, I feel like it probably made it better because a lot of it was in his head. And when you get to do something three times, well, you you either just hack it out or it turns out to be a little bit better. And I think we got a good mix of both. All right, we got one more error. Well, let's see, there's one failure for test service mapping in D8. Drupal call should be avoided in classes. The entity service manager is deprecated. Okay, so it's the latest error here. 
And since we have cynical quotes, why does it have, so one thing I just realized in the deprecation message, it has <clears throat> the source service in quotes, but then the replacement in single quotes. I mean, not a big deal, it's just something to notice now. See, this is only tested on Drupal 8. Is it very, so this was the initial integration test that was done to verify service mapping where we would get the entity manager from the container and then call a missing method and then a deprecated method. And this verified that the undefined method was call, called and that defi get definitions was in fact deprecated and should have been the canary in the coal mine that said, hey, it didn't error that somebody just fetched it. Um, but that is now fixed. So let's get add tests. Verify, do another amend. And another git push. And now hopefully this will be the last change that needs to go through. I wonder if I should bump, let's see. I'm wondering if I should bump the minimum PHP version to at least 7.4. Like, I don't know if anybody's still running 7.2. Oh, now you can actually sponsor PHP stand directly instead of, oh, whatever. I'm still sponsoring it, that's what matters. Um, Composer JSON. So yeah, PHP stand itself supports 7.1. And I think, but I think that's because it compiles down to support other versions, thanks to Rector. C, getting passing. Oh, 10 out of seven. Or seven remain, six remain. It's looking green. Just the build integration tests are running, which I don't even remember what those do. What do they do? GitHub, workflows, PHP, test, build integration, sets up a Drupal project. Oh, it requires it as a dependency on a Drupal project and scans a few things. That's what it does. Seven out three is for another two months. All right. Well, I'll just keep it as is. Not get the right fun code because it's supporting old code. Um, all right, I'm gonna merge this, which fixed the other issue. I'm gonna merge this cleanup as well for loading the bootstrap PHP unit. I'm gonna comment and say that I merged the PR PR anyways since tests were green a new release will be out with the fix let me know if it's still a problem the error with this issue was that um, for some reason the Test bootstrap was the bootstrap.php that we had to require for PHP unit namespacing was returning a boolean for the autoloader instead of the autoloader class and was causing all it's weird causing all kinds of issues. Um, so now what do I need to do? I need to take a release. So let's copy this and do get checkout main. 
get tag 0.12.14, get push 0.12.14, get push origin. Let's do, how do I wanna, where's all my releases? There we go. Let's copy this format. I should really come up with a way to automate these GitHub releases or writing them at least, but I do not. So we've got a feature and the one feature is, let's go to issues, closed, um, detect when deprecated services are fetched from the container. That's a feature. I wouldn't consider it a bug because we had to write new code for it to work. And I'm going to call the it's not a bug fix. It's like a task. So I'm going to make a, I'm going to use a wrench. Yeah, it's using a wrench emoji. All right. Let's publish the release. We got 0 0.2.12.14. Things passing, packages, PHP stand Drupal. I wanna see if it's on, it should be on packages now already. Yep, so it is. So I'm gonna need to copy this version number again, and let's open a merge request for upgrade status to bump the minimum version. So that way this issue can automatically be fixed. So we'll go to the branch and it's as simple as going to the composer.json, we'll open the web IDE inside of GitLab, composer.json, finding PHP stand Drupal and bumping the minimum version to what I just added. Commit to the branch. We'll go back to the issue and click open merge request. I'll put this as needs review. I just tagged 0.12.14. I gotta make sure I tag Palantir as a sponsor or as doing this issue for them so they get the good old issue credits. So just tagged, which includes a rule to detect fetching services from the, from fetching deprecated services from the service container. P, PHP stand Drupal now respects the code deprecated property on service definitions. And that's actually tweet worthy. I should make sure I share that um, going forward, or I should make sure I do like a little extra boost post about it. No, I'm not gonna like literally boost it, but I'll make sure to share this because it's pretty cool. Um, all right. Various other things that just need to be worked on. Deprecate, deprecated method calls in twig files. That is something that I really want to work on um, basically finding twig files that are deprecated. This user, start with key components. So simplify, which is the org behind um, Rector, like the maintainers of Rector have this org. This is a subtree split where they have a twig PHP stand compiler, which allows you to compile twig templates and then run PHP stand against them. So we'll see how well that works when we throw it at Drupal. I have a feeling it's gonna crash and burn and be a magnificent disaster of a challenge. But that's exactly what I signed up for when I created PHP stand Drupal as a magnificent dumpster fire. All right, so let's start back. So now that I've got that figured out or I've got this tagged and we've got one bug fix in for PHP stand out of this, let's go back to triaging 
Um, some issues on upgrade status. So install issues with Symfony CSS selector. Um, has anyone run into it? Dev update with all. CSS selector is required by Gout, which is required by Mink Gout Dryer, which is required by Drupal extension. Um, let's see, core dev with all the dependencies. I don't think that's an issue with this module, but rather your other modules not truly supporting Drupal 9. They've, Drupal 8, they've added a dependency on Drupal extension for B hat that has Drupal 9 dependent dependencies. Um, what's that? Undefined offset one and deprecation analyzer twig analysis. Hey, it's your issue. Um, let's see, analyze 362. The deprecation is spaceless tag and web profiler templates collector. Scan the web profiler module. Um, so let's see. I don't even, ha oh, I realized I forgot to open up what you might call it. The my development space for upgrade status, Drupal sites, contrib dev. There we go. So let's see. Let me get, okay, I got Docker running. Let me get this Docker environment up. We can see, and maybe this is a perfect, ex perfect example of trying out the um, words, the analysis inside of PHP stand Drupal. I know I've also got a handful of things that I need to try to work on, but this sounds fun to triage. Um, so first let me get this environment up and do a, oh, that's core modules contrib. Oh, hey, I've got the develop module web profiler, templates, collector, that's terminal. Drupal, wait, what? Drupal.html.twig. Or, yeah. Deprecated in 5.6.0. Scan the web profiler module. Maybe need, that's the one. Okay, so we've got it here, but deprecation analyzer on line 362. 362 file matches offset one. Oh, I okay. There's a for each twig deprecations. Yeah. Um, which does this have test coverage? Because I mean, we should be able to, um, Oh, but the twig deprecations, see this analyze that's a protected function. Um, all right, this could be kind of testable, but it's not because that's a functional test. We could do this in a kernel test to try to figure out Let's see, I'm just trying to, so twig, analyze take twig templates. So we get the iterator, deprecation collector. We do collect, which does set error handler deprecations. It parses the twig. It gets back the, oh, the duh, this is in twig itself. Okay. So we analyze it and it collects it. 
So twig deprecations, twig deprecation. I wonder if let's just see. Final matches. Just copy that name, the file name, came back with nothing. That didn't either, but I could be just copying it wrong. All right, let's see if we can get a kernel test involved here. So I think that's the best bet to go is a kernel test. My PHP unit is set up with SQLite testing. All right, let's go ahead and um, test this out so twig and we've got a twig module that we can assess so let's do a new directory let's do kernel <clears throat> let's call it um twig deprecation analyzer analyzer test it's looking for foobar.x twig but the namespace was okay Oh, because it has quotes around it. No, let's find. Right here. Okay. Let me actually just copy this line here. And we'll get the regular expression again. So that's the full deprecation message. And then the, it tries to extract the file direct match Ouch. i'm not even getting this to catch any of it but supposedly it's working extra oh shoot thank you i had the extra any white space character this is still not, what am I missing here? Oh, oh, so it's the white space and it should match. So is that the fix is we got to remove the white space checks? So why is, so, all right, let's template maybe. Yeah. Um, so why don't we do templates, new file, spaceless.html.twig. Let's add it. Um, we'll skip the kernel test for now because we have the functional tests. So let's just do how does this go? Spaceless and then end spaceless. And spaceless. So really all we should have to do is commit this and push it and we can verify. So let's create an issue fork. Show the commands. Let's copy the git checkout 8.x, 3.x. I'm used to 4.x because it's simply test me. So let's add the issue fork. Let's fetch the branch. So git status, git add tests, modules are there. Git commit 
add test fixture for spaceless. Push three, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to push it yet because functional. Let's figure out where this test is used. What is it searching for? I didn't think it would take that long to search for this name, upgrade status, status analyze test, analyzer test base. Oh, because it has it everywhere. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, well, that's a lot of errors in there. Let's see. Is there Drupal 10 compatibility? Oh, here we go. Wait, there we go. We'll get this report here. Research not empty. Expected three. One file. Should be one file. There should be two files. So, okay, if we push this, we, sh we should get a test failure because it should be two files. Um, so let's do a git push and we'll open the merge request. And let me look at my page. Oh, it's going to take forever to run. Um, all right. Merge request. Let's put it at needs review. Tag pound tier. They're tagged. And I really want to get a kernel test for this. So let's do kernel uh, twig deprecation analyzer that PHP copy and namespace because it's a lot easier whoop whoop there we go kernel <clears throat> final class Big deprecation analyzer extends kernel test base for our modules we have upgrade status and test twi twig although i wonder if i even need to install it to be able to scan the directory um, but we'll That so let's say public function test deprecation report and in here that's deprecation analyzer so twig deprecations is this analyze twig templates so ideally we would take this do move main method into a service for testability and when it scans the directory extension git path extension analyze this is not what i mean to be looking for extension oh yeah when is this? Um, we could look up the actual directory, but we know it's here and the twig. So twig environment so we can say this container git twig i believe that's the same as the twig environment it's twig environment twig environment i think it's the same class yep it's twig perfect so i think it would be worth putting into its own service because we have the library one and the theme function one there so let's just go and um, 
self assert count five say and it's oh we don't want to return say collection equals what does it return it returns an array collection there export collection true so basically we're just going to do a quick debug let's see let's run this analyze it and i'm just put a fake number of five there we go it's deprecated use blah 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 all right so it's two errors so we assert there to be two errors and on, and actually when it comes to like client work, this is how I do a lot of my work when I like refactor things is I just put, I, I just work on it, right? I just work on it. Then I want to test. I'm like, oh, it's not testable. All right, well, let's start copying some of the code that makes to a reasonable extent to replicate it and test it and then move it into a service because anything I've had to copy into the test to be able to test it means it belongs in a service. So that way it's testable. Um, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way, in my opinion. You, like, you made it work and then you made it testable unless you went, you know, test driven development, but we don't live in a perfect world where you can just always do that. I want to see if this test ran and failed yet. It's running. We'll go ahead and go to the job on Jenkins. To the console output. Okay. Still installing some baseline stuff. Um, so twig deprecations. So we end up I feel like we should the service should probably end up doing the processing here. What's wait, hold on. This link. What is this link? Preparing for the use of Twig 2 and Drupal 9. All right, so this is in general, this isn't like a change record about just anything inside of Drupal, it's Twig in general. Okay, that works. So what we should do is we should have, in my opinion, the service should look like this, Twig deprecations and Twig deprecations equals array map static closure. Um, which actually it's not an array, it's just a string. So it's string deprecation. Twig deprecations. And I return. <laughs> so if we have that here. I'm going to bump this to three. Oh, but wait, the error came in the file matches. That's right. It's, um, I'm trying to get the file matches. So this adds the C correctly to the message. So what we'll have is I always like defining my um, match arrays ahead of time because um, otherwise like it passes it by reference and it's just weird that it doesn't throw an error if you pass it a non predefined array. So we're going to change this to be so deprecation, P rig match deprecation. We're going to say message equals and we'll do a return message is message and we'll say file is 
file matches one. And where are the line matches used? Line matches, oh, which is exactly what this has here. So we'll say, and this should be a double question mark. Because if it's not, if it's that, this assumes that the value would be null, but that doesn't work if it's undefined. So it should be a double, it should be a so Larry Garfield said way back when as a what operator. Um, that's I watched one of his talks, and that's the thing that stuck with me forever is talking about PHP 7 and calling this the what operator. Here we go. We reproduce the bug immediately. Um, so if we drop the white space. And we press play. We get our errors. Now, once th we get the same lines, but what happens if we drop that there? Because, well, the backslash S, S, S across the board. So here we go. Let's just do a self assert count. It's true. Self. Assert equals you know I'm gonna actually do the let's say extension equals this container git module handler. Git module, is that it? And fix this path, because we're given an absolute path and that just makes the, um, that's why we've got the extra long path in here. So let's hit play. And then we'll spin this into a service. Wait, 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 oh. Too few arguments pass to assert equals. Yeah, we'll do. Code deprecation zero and one. Play, it's gonna crash out because this, oh wait, no it won't. Because this is set correctly. Let's copy. It always truncates things, so let's play it again. So we'll get the, <coughs> sorry, the full message. go oh wait let's just copy the entire thing again comma 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 and do command l nope not option command l formats the line in for intents and purposes we'll just copy and paste it here and also copy the response that comes back for the failure because it's all wrong. All right, if we hit play, we should get a passing test. And now we shall turn this into a service. Let's see that this failed. No test to find, no valid tests were fine. What? The test passed. Well, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. You know what? I wonder. Um, so I'm on 7.4. And I'm assuming that you are on a different version than 7.1. So let's test this with a custom parameter. Let's do 7.4 SQL and 8.9. Let's queue it. I don't know if um, PHP regex 7.1 to 7.4 changes or PRCE, whatever it might be. 
Um, backwards incompatible changes. Let's just look at Pureg match. So let's see. I, I wouldn't imagine there being that many changes. Return values change log unmatched as null. No. But it's like, why did it pass? It shouldn't have passed. It failed immediately here. Um, and that's going to take a while to queue. Oh, no, it's running. All right. I want to see if changing the PHP version has a difference. And while we let that run, let's create our new service. So we'll call it the twig deprecation analyzer. Dot PHP namespace is Drupal upgrade status final class to a deprecation analyzer. We don't need an interface because it's not, it's a final class. No one should be swapping this stuff out. We should just be using it as is private twig environment constructor twig environment. Right, is that correct? Let's look at deprecation analyzer. I'm so used to just like joking, jokingly writing Twiggy all the time that I did when searching. So I know that I'm a big fan of final and private, but for keeping the code looking the same way, I am going to skip doing that. Um, after helping contribute to JSON API, where I had to deal with the, um, oh, that's right, 3v4L, that lets you run code against all different environments. I didn't even think about that. Um, but I, I'm used to using final and private because that prevents you from doing weird things with your code and tells you if you have like extensibility or coupling problems. So I'm a big fan of using final classes and private methods. So this is probably overkill to do see, collect dir um, So let's do a protected function collect deprecations. Extension. So I want to keep, oh, this just takes a directory. So I want to keep this function as we have it here. Here, I'm going to load this link because again, I didn't get a chance to fix my chat widget. Um, so 3v4l lets you run code against all the different versions of PHP. And the issue we were having is that, wait, wait a second. I'll put for but it, why is it? working it yeah an empty array why did it pass in the test okay well the thing is the tests probably have i don't want to say incorrect but assumptions in how um assumptions in how that it should be formatted and i'm not aware of it sorry that's really that was really hard to try to spit out um so this is just a little bit easier. So we'll create a public function analyze. And now we go to our test. And we just do a return on this mapping. 
by saying this collect deprecations extension get path. So we don't need to be too fancy with it. Yeah, duplicated code fragment. And no, because we need to now register this as a service. So let's go to upgrade status, status services. Upgrade status dot twig deprecation analyzer. Class is twig deprecation analyzer arguments is twig. We're going to go ahead and inject. We're going to replace the twig service injection with our deprecation analyzer inside of deprecation analyzer. I'm going to leave this broken for right now. So I can just go into our test and say twig deprecations equals, or first we'll do bloop, 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 bloop. Say SUT for subject under test. This container get upgrade status, upgrade status, twig, twig deprecation analyzer and twig deprecations equals subject under test, analyze, extension. So if we run this, it would crash because I didn't fix the, um, I didn't fix all this yet. So let's go find this twig environment it should be twig deprecation analyzer on the Twig deprecation analyzer. That's the test. Let's go to the actual code here. We're going to right click, copy the reference. We're not going to define the property type. Um, so then here, we update this and we change it to be. I wish I could get PHP Storm to also suggest it in snake case, not just camel case. Twig deprecation analyzer. I'm sure there's a way to. <clears throat> but it's probably you can tell PHP Storm to use snake case, but then it's like system wide. And then I'm going to open like my Laravel projects or other PHP code and then be like, I don't want this Drupal set up so you know first world problems there the twig deprecation analyzer analyzer there we go so now what we need to do is find um show protected in the final analyze twig templates What we can do now is say this twig, no, this so this twig deprecation analyzer analyze the path and one second spam phone call. Oh, we don't want to just pass, be past the extension. Um, and we'll say for each twig deprecation, which analyze, oh, that's not a deprecation message. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hold the phone. Um, oh, let's, I didn't even realize when I copied it, it would be doing this. So we can actually just do a return new deprecation message. Message file matches one, line matches one or zero. Uh, 
Um, so we'll do that, which means that my test is broken. We'll just, so this should be twig deprecation, get file. We're just, I'm going to match everything down here. Get message. And sorry, my phone just like got blown up by a possible scam, which means it's probably not a scam. It's probably a legitimate phone number. Um, so we got twig deprecations. Where's their duplicated line? Oh, because all these things look the same. That's why it's saying it's duplicated. Yeah, that's good enough. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> so we have this, and if we look at the service definition, it should no longer be cranky. Well, it is cranky because I gave it the wrong service name. There we go. Um, but in doing so, I also broke my test because it got converted from an array to a, seriously, it's still passing. Um, yeah, it, it failed because object does not meet expected type array. So we will do a um, new deprecation message. We'll try this out. Where we're just passing an object. And then cleaning up. The definition all right there we go remove the to do's now let's run this test and the thing is we weren't able to get a legitimate failure in the functional test so i need to push this with broken code basically so analyze the original code had a percentage s here or backslash s backslash let's just duplicate these um okay to do uncomment uncomment the this is the this is the fix to do remove proving needs a fix So, right, it went something like this. And if I actually went and looked at the diff, I would know. So let's just Yeah, it was that. Let's run the test. Undefined offset one. I feel like we should find a better fix for that kind of error message, but we'll just status, get add source, get add test, get add upgrade status, get commit, move twig analysis into service and test it. Push. So this is one reason I'm all about kernel tests because they're really fast and it lets you test very specific lines of code. Um, now, normally you'd just be like PHP unit and Drupal, they're called kernel tests because kernel has, um, kernel tests have a light, light, wait, lightly bootstrapped Drupal interface or database. Um, I thought about adding a from message like as a static creator, but I didn't want to like go and manipulate this object just because my existing test was formatted some way. Um, I feared this is pretty 
this isn't too bad. Like I use this in various other times or other places rather. Um, weird push something, something that should failed, but did not pushed work that moves twig analysis into a service and has a kernel test. This was failing locally, pushed the code with failing expectations into a, yeah, we'll say into a service. That's correct grammar here, at least seems to be for me. Oh, so that's, and of course, this is probably going to be queued forever. So we'll never have to wait a while for it to show up. Um, one second, quickly looking at my phone. Refresh this, please. Oh, cute. Of course, like. So we have to wait for this to land in a in a home. Um, let's make. I'm at least going to make the comments some changes. So I'm going to put the comment here and go up to line 32. Well, let's go to 34, uh, 34, no, 35, 35, removing the, hey, hey, thanks for tuning in. Um, removing the backslash S, backslash S, fix the regex pattern on our end during the stream to fix the undefined offset error. I don't, um, it was caught in this kernel test, but the quick test without did not fail. Maybe just test related in the functional test yeah so it that could have been the thing too is um in that functional test or is it analyze test so right here so files test theme so test twig so cert equals base info count files so yeah there should have been a it it should have been three files oh wait base info or not wait i don't even know how to read this code these modules on, on at least drupal 9 you must not be ready for the next major. I'm testing with Drupal 9 and this tested on 8.9. Well, that right there explains why it didn't happen. Um, I didn't pay attention to the fact that it was testing on 8.9 and this fix is for Drupal 9. So let's pick this, let's cue this. Man. So that means my kernel test will fail if it's Drupal 8. Because Drupal 8 doesn't have the latest twig. Maybe, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know. We'll just see what happens. Um, the only thing I can think of is the fact that 
I have Drupal 9 on my local machine. That tested 8.9. I am all kinds of backwards confused because I keep having to bounce between the two different versions for testing various stuff. So, no idea. But let's see, this is running. But it's probably still just setting up the baseline. Okay, the database has started, but did it install yarn? No, it didn't do the yarn stuff yet, I don't think. Yeah, so let's see. Twig spaceless deprecation. And let's look at the Drupal. Twig Spaceless is deprecated since 2.7. Use Spaceless Filter. All right, 2.7. What does 8.9? Oh, 8.9 only supports Twig 1, right? Twig. Oh, I got to go to Core. That's right. Core has all the real dependencies. The root composer JSON and development trunk is developer dependencies. Um, twig. Man. Twig. 1.3.8. So, of course, it didn't error because it's not deprecated because we're on Twig 2 in um, 9. Dot, let's just go to 9.3. Twig is at 2. Um, what about 9.0? Did we open 9.0 with twig2? We sure did. Um, so I'm just going to put a note. I totally forgot D8 has twig1, which does not have this deprecation. So, of course, it failed locally and not on the D8 test. It would only fail on D9, which means my kernel test will fail on D8 and should only run for D9. Um, we'll, we'll fail on D8 and should only assume two errors on D9. So it won't completely fail it's just i need to make sure if it's drupal 8 it only runs it only cares about two errors um so while i wait for some of these things to finish rolling let's do let's copy the nice test this get drupal core major version wait it passes it as an int and it returns that really works I mean, obviously it has to, we have it here. Um, I just didn't think that, oh, because it can treats it as decimals and it rounds down. Actually, that's kind of dangerous because if we were to hit like 9.7, it would round up, I just realized. Um, so why don't I go to PHP Stand Drupal where I do this and deprecation rules uh, so um really so that that works and again sorry my um I broke my my chat in Twitch because of my CSS, but let's just paste this here into, actually, let's pop it in a terminal because this just blew my mind. Um, I'll make it all big so you can eat, see it. So my thought was if we ran this code, if we ran ver export int 9.7.8, it would round up, but it returns nine. I guess it just drops all decimals. 
I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's an integer, so just it just you're converting a float to an integer, so it just drops. Or because it's an invalid number. Well, that's who knows. All right, I'm taking it. Um, I guess I already have this. Wait, what does PHP dash A do? I'm curious. That's not the thing I want to hit. Oh, the interactive shell. That you know, interactive shell is a lot easier than me always doing PHP dash R and escaping thing. So that's a good uh trick. So int casting a string parses a string into a non-integer value and truncates the rest. So that, I guess that makes sense. So this is the first non integer value. So then it just drops everything afterwards. Um, that makes sense. Um, so I can count equals is D nine two. Otherwise it's one. Actually we could drop the count and just say um, if it is D9. No, I always like to do the expected count stuff. Um, to one, we can say, ah, uh, this is always so messy bouncing between the two. Failure, yeah, this is a failure because, wait, why is this a failure? Unexpected syntax and twig analyzer line 30. Again, because I 30. Probably because I did a return type. And this is 7.1. I don't think return types were added in 7.1. Oh no, it was in the kernel test. All right, kernel test, line 30. Unexpected closing, what do you mean? Oh, wait, let's go back, line 30. Um, What? All right, 7.1. Tell me what, oh, there it is. Caroline, comma. Um, in 7.4, I believe it was, you could have a trailing comma at the end of a parameter. Float val. Oh, so that's one. So that way you can get the minor. Honestly, my favorite is using um, version compare. Because that way you always know what you can compare against minor versions much more reliably and it's a built-in function that does comparison um it returns negative one if the first version is lower than a second zero if they're equal and one if the second is lower so basically in this case um I guess if something was running on 9.0.0, .0, it would be, oh yeah, it would to be like a false equivalent. Um, but so let's see. So let's just change this. I'm going to do if version here is not there. Um, so if it's man, but now I, I always get, um, if the second is lower. So if it's equal to one, so if, or rather if it's equal to negative one, so if it's lower, here we go. I, I get the, I, the, the logic with these negative one, zero and one functions, like it's great sometimes but 
I also can never keep them straight. Like my mind has no idea what it's talking about most of the time. Um, it just, I can't keep it together. But what this is saying, so if it's negative one, which means negative one means the first version is lower than the second. This is the opposite of what I want. So flip. So if the current version is lower than 9.0.0, .0 .0, we're on Drupal 8. Otherwise, we run this. And let's just test it out. Undefined offset 1. Um, that's right, because I need to fix. Oh, this is just... Okay, so that passed. Now what I'm going to do is hack this to say eight and click run and we should get a test failure because it ran on the other code. Okay, great. The reason that failed is because I set it to eight and it went for the, the other code that should run only on PHP eight or Drupal eight. Okay, run this. You got a fatal error on 7.3. Well, that answers my question. The trailing comma was added on missing group annotation. There's the other thing I'm completely horrible at is actually grouping my tests like you're supposed to. All right. Let's push these back. We're going to group it. Test analyzing twig templates. Now, all we've done is just test. Ensure two different tests, two different assertions based on D, D8 or D9. Commit and push. All right. So what this should lead to is we should have a green D8 build and a broken D9 build is what should happen but because I did not because I left the fix commented out. Now I just gotta wait for the first for Drupal CI to say it's running. Okay. Why won't it won't even let me add a test for that now? Oh, I can't forget, I still have to clean up the coffee mess that's all over my desk and keyboard because I spilled my coffee earlier. So just woohoo. Um, all right. So, well, that I wait for something there to happen. Um, string position expects parameter one to be on. Oh, this is weird. We had this error with the stream wrapper. Um, when trying to access a far through the far stream wrapper, and they added a fix, typo three added a fix, but we can't actually upgrade to it in um, Drupal core recommended. But we don't know why it was even broken. So there's a fix, but we can't really reproduce. PHP stand failed without errors, progress bar shown. Um, what's this progress bar errors always print to STD standard error. Raw errors were returned due to an unexpected error. Let's see. 
Command output. Oh yeah, why did... I wasn't able to reproduce this. But... I don't know. I don't know where to take this, honestly. So I'm just going to skip it and see if now I can run another test. Okay, so we have 8.9 at a test. We need a test on Drupal 9. So fire that off. Okay, deprecated method invocations on nine type hinted objects are not detected. Unfortunately, that is just. Oh, wait, this should be fixed, though. Hold on. File system should be. Um... Oh, okay. <clears throat> We need to, man, I just released that and we need to, oh, maybe this did get fixed. Hold on. Um, closed. Let's copy this issue. This may, wait, related to 116. <clears throat> this may have been fixed in 205. Oh, geez, there's already an issue for this in 205. I fixed calls to get on services. This may have been fixed. I didn't add a test fixture for Drupal service directly. <coughs> All right, so maybe this will be um, fixed up. This may have been fixed in the latest release. It includes a fix for Drupal git container git or container git. So Drupal service calls should be detected. <clears throat> Actually, even more so, let's look at the pull request. Oh, for a second, let's go to the cons. Let's go to Jenkins and kind of wait for see what's going on with those ones. Um, 205 was fixed in this merge request. Files changed. I had to fix huh, way to commit that to do. Um, so we have the fix there. Have that fix the void. We had to pick, I had to fix the test services mapping extension. That does a triple service container. Is anything in here, these fixtures? <clears throat> Drupal service. Nope. Way to go, Matt. So, this is still valid. All right, I'm leaving these two open because they might be fixed, but I need to go back through and verify if they are or not. 
Um, unstable. What does that even mean? No valid tests were specified. <coughs> okay, great. This is the Drupal 9 test. We finally have it. Here we go. D8 passed. D9 did not. So if we remove these and say commit fix, there we go. All right, so we proved that D9 is failing. The problem is that upgrade status isn't running on D9 by default because there's still the big push for D8. Um, but we just proved that D9 is failing. I wonder if there's a daily or weekly that's running. Automated testing. Tested on commit. Um, we should make this weekly. I'm going to make an issue that I need. Update D9 automated tests to run weekly and on commit. <clears throat> yeah. So let's copy this issue. D9 is only tested on commit, which doesn't catch any breaks as D9 moves to prepping for D10 with deprecations and such. See this issue, which I'll do the bracket pound sign to link to it. D9 was broken with detecting deprecated functions in, not just say deprecations in twig upstream. It went unnoticed because, unnoticed because there aren't recurring tests. To be fair, I have projects that have, um, this isn't really, I'll just say task, I guess. Um, to be fair, I have projects that have weekly jobs and I don't necessarily notice them, but when they break, but I like having them because if something gets weird, I can look back in time and say, when did this break? That's where it's useful. All right, so we have D9 running. Now I need to run D10, D9, or we had D8 running, now D9. I'm gonna lose my mind between PHP 7, PHP 8, Drupal 8, 9, 10. All right, so that's queuing up. Why don't I go ahead and go to PHP Storm, whatever this is, and change this to be service run it oh <clears throat> Here's a fun issue. The actual error should be that Entity Manager doesn't exist, but it's not running. Well, that's a whole different problem. Build expecting that actual size one meets expected size four. Where is the output? Why didn't it give me all the... So I guess... Hold 
hold on. Right? But service calls git can stat. Oh. Is it because of the static? That shouldn't be it. But git container git return mixed. Git, this should be. Where is the, why is it not showing me? Well, okay, so there's bigger issues. So that's still relevant, I guess. Um, so this is still relevant. Shoot, I was really hoping that would have been fixed. That does not appear to be the case. And my time is about up. So let's see, those two need to be, I need to work on that. Let me just, actually, I don't want to forget these. How do I pin it? Um, pin the issue. Pin the issue. <sighs> Could not be pinned. Did I relate the two at least? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, it can't be pinned because I think you can only have three pinned issues at a time. <clears throat> so there's that. Test pass. Yeah, so there's something goofy happening. Um, before I sign off, I just want to see. Finished. Unstable. What? Still had a failure. Failed assertion that five matches expected four. Oh, so there is a whole. Oh, bummer. Um, twig. I guess to deprecation, no, that's wrong. So I guess in this case, it just, it came back in a different order. And that's annoying to try to have to determine. Um, All right, well, I will figure that one out later. Um, we do need to at least, this finally failed. At least we proved that this failed. Um, five should have been four, which is online. Yeah, the order error is on your issue. So it, the count. So the count passed, but this, Twig filter deprecated filter came first before spaceless. So I, we just got to deal with the fact that the collected, um, the collected messages could be in a random order, maybe, um, upgrade status test 131. So this should be four. Although. See this, this isn't in a random order here. Well, it passed because zero one. So let's just change this. I don't know why it sorted the way it did. Zero one. Let's do a, um, Not gonna run composer update right now. So weird. If this, if I play it locally, um, 
Um, <clears throat> I mean, the, the fix would be to um, just do Well, what if I do um, self array cont assert contains Let's try this out. Let's do assert contains with the object, but I don't know if assert contains does a strict check. Then array contains that object. Yes, yeah, a strict check on the object. Let's see. Assert contains equals instead. There we go. So this could be the fix. Um, just use assert contains equals instead. And that way it's not doing a strict equals check. Yep. So let's do, let's just delete this one and we'll make it assert contains equals. There we go. We'll do Actually, we'll keep that one strict because it has the same, or it has just one, so we can just do a, a direct check there. There, now it's green for that. So we'll do that. We'll keep that there. Let's we'll bump this to a four. And. File messages one, two, th one, and two. Uh, so that's probably going to error as well, but let's just, I'm just going to commit this as is. Um, better um, avoid checking messages based on key slash return order. Because that is honestly always a mess. All right, with that push, I have to go. It's four o'clock here. I have a few things to go take care of before the end of my work day. Um, again, thanks Palantir for sponsoring this time to contribute on these two projects and just make sure we have a steady upgrade process. Um, so thanks again. And thanks again to everybody that tunes in. It makes this fun to hang out and work on this code. And it's a fun way to do some open source development. So thanks. Uh, and again, I'll be doing a hack and play on Friday. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I'll always be here weekly on Wednesdays doing Drupal upgrade readiness stuff. So thanks and have a good one.